Hey YouTube. All right. Well, I guess if um, you're watching this video, you're definitely looking like me to try to figure out what in the world to do about this Media Smart uh, HP server. Uh, I got this thing, and I spent a week and a half trying to figure out exactly what in the world to do with it. And then eventually, I just decided that I'm going to try the VGA mod, and then go from there. So. The first thing you're going to need, of course, is the VGA mod, but I'll show you how to put that in in another video. Uh, just watch the other video and show you, but in this video right here, I'm going to show you how to put the operating system on this hard drive. That's the easiest way I found. Uh, some people are saying, well, you can do it through the network, you can do it that through the router and everything. Uh, this was a way that I figured out how to do it. So I'm going to show you one of the easiest ways. Um, one of the first things you're going to need is you're going to need the USB drive and you're going to have to download the ISO file, which is for the server and it'll be Windows uh, media server and it'll be 2012, but it's R2. R2 is the name of the one on the very bottom of these PCs these media smart PCs you will see it'll say BIOS version R2 R02 on there alright so basically what I did was you're gonna need a secondary PC of course and then you need the unit and then you need a monitor and then you're gonna need a keyboard of some sort whether it be wireless wireless is usually the best for it uh, once the Windows does boot up and everything, but all right, so let me show you how to do it. So basically Position this and then we're going to take the hard drive that it took out of the media server and we're going to put it inside the other machine. We're going to stick it Right here into the other machine and then we'll boot this one up. Now I'll tell you how to, uh, once you get the ISO file and you're going to get a software called Yumi. Yumi is the easiest that I found. And then you create the USB and you put Yumi. Okay, so now the hard drive is in the other unit hard drive that I'm going to boot up into this and okay now we're going to plug in this unit Okay, and now once you put the Yumi on the USB, you're going to plug it in, and then it's going to boot up to the hard drive, and as you can see, the HP is running. Now, you got your wireless keyboard. Now it should, you're going to push F10 because you got to boot from the USB. And then we're going to go to English. We're going to go over to boot order. And then from boot order, you're going to select the USB device. Okay. Then you're going to push F10 again. All right. Now from there, you've already changed. And then you're going to save it to F10 and then I'm going to save changes and exits and then F10 finally there we go that's what we needed okay now it should there we go now it boots to Yumi now see this software is called Yumi now essentially you're going to 
bring it up on your desktop after you download it and essentially you are going to install now the one that I picked I've tried all of these ones on the hard drive trying to get them to boot I couldn't find any of them to get to boot so until this one right here and install Windows 2012 R2 okay and this is the one you're gonna get 2012 R2 X64 okay and then once it loads now it's loading files okay and as you can see it's loading the windows onto the hard drive for the media uh, smart media smart Okay, this is real time, so as you're watching it, I could fast forward this, but um, it shouldn't take much longer. There we go. All right, now you're going to install Windows Server, and then we're going to do the core installation onto the hard drive. Now, as you can see, I already had it partitioned and everything for it. So now we're going to reinstall in the petition you chose previous windows yes and now as you can see it's going to load up windows so now it's installing okay Okay, while well, this is finishing, I can't tell, I cannot tell you if a different uh, version of Windows Server, um, different year might work as well. Um, this one is 2012, but from what I was reading, um, it has to be at least an R2, and they do make 
2022, they do make 2007, they do make, uh, they, they made so many different versions. This is what I was reading. Someone was from one of the forums, said he got 2012 to, um, to get on it. So that's why I decided to try this one. Now, Zoomy is very easy to use if you download it to your desktop and you get the ISO and see, and as you can see, it went to boot. Now it's installing. I'm going to Now this is a lot easier with the VGA mod. Uh, you can look on the other video. You can buy the VGA cable that goes onto the board. Um, there's a guy that makes a pretty good living selling these cables and I didn't know where else to turn because I'd gotten this server. I actually was looking for a external base system and I ended up purchasing this one very, very uh, reasonable and became more of a long hassle. So that's why I am making this video to hopefully save somebody else some time. As you can see, it doesn't take extremely long. It's just uh, some time. It will restart several times while it installs the software, but it's, uh, it shouldn't take that long. So then best thing is to uh, have a wireless keyboard as well um, so you can select easier. I did at first have a wired keyboard, but it didn't have a mouse, so... And then here you go. And now it says the administrator password must be changed before signing in. So then you're going to put in a new password. And let me go ahead and do that real quick. So let's see, we'll do uh, and then we'll select the next one. Okay, and now you should boot. Your password has been changed. Applying your settings, and there you go. Now you're into the administrator. So what you should be able to do is hook it to the LAN, and then go to your network. And then you should be able to access it from the other PC you hook it to. So let's go, and we'll go ahead and shut this down for now. Control Alt Delete, and as you can see, it's running. And then we're going to go into Power Down, and then we're going to go to Planned Maintenance. Windows is shutting down from the second PC.
Okay, now the machine is shut down and you get the hard drive. Now I'm going to take the hard drive out of this machine. And this was a uh, one terabyte. So we're going to put it back into the bay right here. And if nobody really understands how to do this, the bay is actually broken into two little sections. You can see as this one moves, so then you're able to put the drives into there, into each hole, and then pull this over and then put it into place. Pull this one up and then put it into place because it actually lifts and lifts, say, until it's in there. And we're going to put the bay into the machine. Okay. Now we're going to disconnect the VGA from the secondary machine that we were using to create the hard drive. And as, I, as you can see, it's been modified with the VGA cable in the back. And then we're going to plug in the power into the server as well. Now I took the plastics off because I'll show you in the other video on how, uh, how to modify the cable. But as you can see, it's booting up. And you should see the lights. And now it should show exactly which bays. And as you can see, the two, the master has a hard drive. Now make sure you take whatever dongle or, or um, keyboard you plan on using and putting it into the very front one for now. <coughs> Excuse me. And plug that into the bottom. Now with this unit, it will only boot to the very back, very last one on the bottom down here, USB. But as you can see, it is running and it's getting all your devices ready. And there you go. And now you do the same thing and we're going to control alt delete and then it asks for the same password that you created before in the other machine and then it prepares and there you go and now you're into administrator now if you wanted to bring up the taskbar you could do exactly the same thing and see the machine so you got control alt delete and then we're going to go to task manager and then we're going to go to details and there you go and you've got your whole menu for performance and then it tells you with the processor you got your users which is the administrators that are created and you got details that are running and then services all right everyone well i'm going to go ahead and shut this unit down and hopefully this saved you a lot more time than it saved me so I was uh, looking for weeks and weeks and weeks trying to figure out how to what to do with this machine because most are saying you need to create uh, you need to create the, the connection between this unit and the other machine by your router by your network um, But as you can see, that is not the case. So, all right, I hope this helped everybody. And if you want to learn about the mod, just if you want to learn about this VGA mod, check out the other video. All right, take care. Bye-bye.